What's good, YouTube? It's your main man, ABD Hero, back again with a, another video. And in today's video, we talking about LaMelo Ball and his number one. Will he have it for this upcoming season or not? It's not looking good. Let's go. With my dude, AB the Hero. What's up? Are we getting it down in the ball of state, baby? Hey, hey. AB, where to get out of the lane? <laughs> where to get out of the lane? What do you thought about that, Jay? I like that. Yeah, I told you, he's a, he's a hustler for it. <laughs> Let's go. I'm out. <laughs> All right, YouTube, I appreciate y'all subbing to the channel, hitting the notification bell, and also liking this video. Please take time out right now, hit the like button, you feel me? We be putting in hard work, stacking up paper like Dunder Mifflin and them. Whole lot of real talk. The channel has been growing as of late. Y'all see we hit the 13,000 subs, Mark. Let's go ahead and get to 15,000. That is the new goal. All right, so straight into the video like always. Well, not like always, sometimes we shoot the shit but um we got my dog lamello ball here if you go over to his instagram you will see this on his story all i want for my birthday is to be number one at nba sad face emojis now earlier we talked about him posting like yo that number two is up out of here zo it was cool um and and we see him still waiting here like yo what's up with the number one what's up with the number one now Obviously, let me show you this here. Now, LaMelo's birthday is August 22nd, so he's got some time if that's what he wants for his birthday. Birthday NBA do the right thing. Now, I don't know if y'all know this, but I take y'all back in history a bit. Uh, one time, a long time ago, me and your boy LaMelo celebrated a joint birthday party, you know what I'm saying, at the Chocolate Factory over in Las Vegas. And uh, so it was kind of cool. And actually, realistically, it was on my birthday, right? But they hooked us up, gave us a lot of free food and all of that stuff, simply because we also added them. So it was like, yo, it was my birthday, we going out. And then it was like, Mellow Party too. And then we got free food. So shouts out to Mellow for that. But going back to this now, why I think this is important. Now, first, let's go here. Now that I think about it, right, I, I, I've been on Puma's head a lot in these videos about like, what's up with the MB1s? Why you ain't dropping them? I wouldn't be surprised if they were not waiting just from the marketing standpoint of mb1 for mb1 to be in the one before we drop the shoes and all of the branding and all of that stuff that we've done around the one right one of one the whole thing we don't want to put it on in the dude wearing the number two so i wouldn't be surprised if they was like you know it just makes sense long term for us to be able to for us to hold off now here's some stuff that i have figured out in my research last year right we looked at um when lamello touched down in charlotte he had the number two on he was trying to get uh malik monk out of the number uh one jersey M nicholas batum had left the the five was open but here and and so we had the whole inter um instagram twitter interaction between zoe being like yo malik what's up bro like give it up and malik being like i don't know i don't know then it was like cool let's do it here's the issue though is that there used to be a day in which you could come into the league and be like you know what bro I want that jersey. Here go 50,000. Let me get the jersey up off you, right? And you can make that switch. We started seeing players switch numbers more often. You think of the LeBron Jameses, who is this season coming into the number six. Uh, you know, dude's just PG-13 switch from, I think, 24 to 13. So this thing, like free agency and like all of these other trends that have been happening in the NBA, have become problematic at times. So the NBA put in a rule which made it so you can only switch your jersey number if you let the um, NBA know back in March, right? So the March before the next season, if next season you wanna switch your jersey, bro, let us know and we'll, we'll make the change. Now, why does that matter? Because now if you're switching teams and you switch jerseys, it's, it's what up, it's fair game right there. But for that, they also have like those uh, jersey insurance programs where if you bought a Malik Monk jersey right last year, let's say, 
let's say this season is coming up and free agency just hit and you just bought that Lonzo Ball 2 jersey that you've been saving up for all authentic and bam free agency hit and he gets sent over to uh, the um, Chicago Bulls you can use your like jersey rental insurance to get a new jersey free right but if LeBron James is playing in the Lakers jersey and he switches to from 23 to 6, you can't use your jersey insurance to get that new number, right? Same thing. Last year, when Malik Monk is switching from 5, trying to go to 1, or switching from 1 to 5, like, they can't give you jersey insurance on that, right? So... It doesn't happen. So that that really is what became the issue last year. It's not that Malik Monk did not want to switch, but he would have had to let the NBA know in March that he was switching his jersey to uh, five, right? Or switching his jersey, yeah, yeah, from one to five, and you, no time to do that. So same thing with this year, right? LaMelo Ball would have had to let the NBA know back in March that he was anticipating switching his jersey to one. However, the issue then would have became that Malik Monk back in March would also have had to let the NBA know that he was switching his jersey from one to five. Now Malik Monk is not on the team, so if they both had not have taken those... Um, those precautions back then, right? It would have made no sense for them to accept LaMelo Balls if Malik Monk is anticipating still being on the team wearing that jersey number. Then this, the issues that we see right now would still be issues. Now, this is a big deal because this is what happened to LeBron James. This article here talks about this year LeBron James is switching his number to six, right? And he tried to do it previous to last season, but because he missed the deadline, Nike said, all right, bro, LeBron, if you want to do it, you can, but they passed it to the NBA. The NBA said, nah, bro, you got to wait a year. He put it the, the notice in before this past season, so this year he's good. Now, what happens if you like, you know what, bro? I don't even care. I'm switching my number. It's up. You then have to buy out all of the major retailers who already have your jersey printed and all of that stuff, right? So now, think about this. When you look at, remember that LaMelo Ball video when he um, won the rookie of the year and they going through the stores, jerseys all over the place? In order for the change to happen, LaMelo would have to buy out all of the number two jerseys. I'm Because they want to recoup. It's a business. I want my bread. You got to buy all of that out. This becomes hard to do when you're a super popular player. Now, it's kind of weird to me because if you go try to buy a LaMelo Ball jersey on the Hornets website right now, like you damn near got to customize one, right? It's not a lot of just number two stock around. So I don't know if that's all the way 100% the issue, but that is definitely a hurdle that my dog has to get over. Now, we have to wait and see. Because I think one or two things are happening. One, I hopefully my dog didn't miss the March deadline because everybody named Mama knew that the jersey change was supposed to come. So hopefully Puma and everybody got that jersey um, request to change in ahead of time, right? And also, uh, I'm hoping that once that does drop, the shoes and all of the Mellow One, MB1 merch come right after that as well. Because I, if, if that's what we're waiting on, I think that that would be a, a, a great um, constellation prize for this upcoming season. And we get to see your boy LaMelo in the preseason rocking the number one jersey. So this is some, just some information that I have found out about this stuff. One of the other things that's interesting is in the NFL currently having similar issues because they just expanded the um, jerseys that you can wear, right? So in basketball, it don't matter whatever position you wear, you could, whatever position you play, you can wear whatever jersey you want. In football, you can't, right? There's rules and regulations. If you're a running back, you can't wear single digit numbers. Uh, if you're a lineman, linebacker, you can't wear. So they, they, they say, you know what, we opened it up. Some about the Kansas, Kansas City Chiefs um, was like, yo, we need some help. We, we don't have enough numbers for players in the restricted areas. So this upcoming season, you'll see a lot of your favorite players maybe resorting back to college, numbers that they wore in college and numbers that they wore in, uh, in, in high school and stuff like that. However, 
Um, I think that this season, because that's happening, they may be allowing certain players to, to make that change without taking on as much of a financial burden. Or if you go ahead and let the NBA, so I think to my understanding is, if you say, you know what, now it's open, in 2022, I'm making this change, I'm gonna let the league know now, you straight, you don't gotta buy your jersey out. If you do it this upcoming season, you gotta spend that bread. Some of these dudes got it, some of these dudes don't. It's your main man, AB the Hero. Stick with your boy, it's up and it's stuck. We out, peace. No, not peace, plus one, triple B's, we out.